Urushi means lacquer in Japanese, and things coated in lacquer are lacquerware. Lacquerware has a long tradition in East Asian countries such as Japan, Korea, and China. Today, we are visiting Urushi no Sato Kaikan, located in Sabae City. We will be taking a deeper look into lacquerware and trying our hand at chinking, which is gold leaf embedment into lacquerware. Let's start with a brief overview of what lacquer is and the process of making lacquerware. Traditionally, lacquer was made from the sap of a certain type of tree. The sap was harvested by making a series of cuts on the tree like so. This sap was then coated on objects multiple times which dries into a smooth and beautiful finish. That is the basics of what goes into making lacquerware. This facility is dedicated to lacquerware and features a store, display showing the history of lacquerware, and a workshop where guests can try making their own lacquerware. They also have this impressive festival cart which was made using lacquer. It is amazing seeing all the details that were put onto the cart. Near the cart is an area where visitors can watch craftsmen work on lacquerware. Years of experience can be witnessed up close. Looking around the facility, it is easy to see that lacquer is used on a wide variety of items, such as bowls and trays. One of the more interesting items in this facility is this lacquer-coated bike. The facility even features lacquer on their elevators that leads to the workshop. We then decided to try out one of the lacquerware experiences. We did chinking, which is gold leaf embedment into lacquerware. First, we chose our preferred piece of lacquerware. We then engraved a pattern into the lacquerware. The engraving then was coated in gold dust. And our piece was complete. We were given the opportunity to interview our guide for the experience. うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
今は木で作った使い捨てみたいな重箱に料理屋さんが詰めてそれで家庭に買ってもらうような感じでしてますので昔のような漆のきちっと重箱に数十分はだんだん少なくなってきてます。だから時代が変わるとそういう漆器物も売れ方も変わっていくんです、ね、昔はシルバンというと黒か赤やったんですはいそれが今の若い人は紫とかピンクとか水色とかっていうよりも色が全然違うカラフルな色をいやこれも全部漆塗りですよ漆塗りなんですけどそういうふうに時代も変わ今変わってきてもっていうので昔の赤や黒っていうのがどうしてもね売れてはいますけどやっぱ若い人にはそういうのは売れないんです。うん、長くなりましたけれど。はい。Alright, that was Urushi no Sato Kaikan. If you found the facility interesting, please give it a visit. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.